fact, uh, uh, what we are getting to know is that the Supreme Court has now given a detailed order explaining reasons behind its direction on the OBC quota. Now, upholding the 27% reservation, the Apex Court observed that reservation is not at odds with merit. Now, it further added that merit cannot be narrowed to the limit of success in competitive examination and extends to the lived experiences. Now, earlier on the 7th of January, the Supreme Court had announced that admissions in NEET, PG and undergraduate courses will be on the basis of the existing 27% quota for OBCs and 10% reservation for the economically weaker sections of the society. Now, senior lawyer Geeta Luthra now joins me on the broadcast. Uh, Geeta, this is a very, very significant uh, observation by the court. Can you just take us, uh, take our viewers through it? So, I think what Supreme Court has tried has justified the fact that reservation does not not give importance to merit, and that's been a great uh, cry against reservations that reservations do ignore merit and therefore take into account only uh, reserving or giving special provisions for say obcs in this case now what the supreme court has said and i'm uh, um, it's a very interesting argument it's also a novel argument because uh, till now, the argument that was being made in favor of reservation was simply that there should be affirmative action for those who are underprivileged. Now, for the first time, the Supreme Court has introduced an argument in their favor, which is saying that their experiences also count for merit and therefore this is really merit come need based. And that is a step which the Supreme Court has taken to, uh, to I believe, take into account the jurisprudence of various countries like France or the US, where the emphasis once again is coming on merit based appointments and uh, admissions. And so the earlier judgment with regard to promotions was that uh, look into the aspect whether there is there is a lacuna or a need for more representation and then give promotions. Now, for the first time, I believe the Supreme Court in a very significant judgment has said there is merit. The aspect of merit is important and their mm -hmm. experiences, their background, their past will bring in the merit of the fact that they are, are eligible and should be entitled to reservation. I think to that extent, I feel it's uh, making a absolutely new nuanced argument which has not been made over the various decades when reservation has been argued. Absolutely. Also, Ms. Luthra, the fact that, uh, you know, the validity of the income criteria which has been set for availing the EWS quota, that, of course, the court will be taking up uh, in March. But what do you think will happen on that account? See, the question is, there again, once again, if you are trying to say that reservation is for the needy or the underprivileged or those who haven't had a voice, question is, if you are giving the creamy layer benefits, then you are not really doing justice to reservation. The other argument is that uh, they may be the creamier part of the layer because ultimately you have to take merit into account. And therefore, this economic criteria hasn't really stood the test so far. But let's see how Supreme Court deals with it. 
to my mind, uh, where and what would be the limit that you would set if you were going to say that mm -hmm. reservation with economic means uh, not being there or reservation without economic means. It's a very difficult and you will see a lot of fudging, lot of wrong declarations, and you may just be getting mixed in a mire of litigation. But let's see what the court will say on it.